Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I have a lot of samples, so I thought maybe it'd be cool to do a full face of samples, but I actually don't have like um, eyeshadow samples or eyebrow things or blush. So um, yeah, maybe instead this will be like another testing new makeup video, which I really like to do because I still have so much makeup in my collection that I have never used. So I, yeah, I guess what I'll do, this is like super casual, I don't even know where this is going, but I think I'm going to use mostly samples for my makeup and then like some other new things that I've been wanting to test out. So, um, the first thing I picked up here from my drawer is this Guerlain Abbe Royale. This is a youth watery oil it says replumps smooths and illuminates so that is the full size this is what it looks like i think this is probably uh super expensive because it's guernet but yeah i thought it looked kind of cool to try and my skin is pretty dry right now um, if you didn't see my last video I did just come back from vacation so I kind of have a tan but also like I'm peeling so yeah I think I should put an oil on before anything else so let's try this I hope I don't have any sort of reaction there's no instructions on here so I guess I'll just do what I do with my other oils is I just put it in my hand oh yeah okay so watery oil is a good description for this because it is very thin wow <laughs> there's like nothing in this sample um, if you can even see it's so watery that it's actually dripping so I'll just put in my hands and press it in oh <clears throat> it is strongly scented I think this like Abbe Royale thing um, there's honey in it or something to do with bees because Abbe is a bee in French so that's what I'm assuming <laughs> I guess I could look it up in a second to give you more information. Okay, so it is feeling, I guess, a tad sticky, but it might, when it dries down, it'll probably be normal. Yeah, so with my oils, I actually like press them into my skin like this. Yeah, this is way too strongly fragranced for me. Um, yeah, I hope I don't break out. Let me see what I can find on this product. Because, like I said on this sample, it just says what it is and the ingredients. So, first ingredient is water, then it's glycerin, pentaline, glycol, polyglycerin, alcohol, royal jelly, blah blah blah. I don't see anything about bees. Oh no, I see honey. Okay, so there is honey in it. Anyway, let's see what Sephora app tells me. This product is $125 for one ounce. Okay never going to purchase that <laughs> and you can get half an ounce for $65 and for $185 you can get 1.6 ounces yeah no so it says a watery oil that smooths visibly plumps and revitalizes the skin for fine lines and wrinkles 
which I have. Dullness and uneven texture, yes. Loss of firmness and elasticity, probably. It says, this revolutionary formula combines the power of a serum, the richness of an oil, and the freshness of a lotion for skin that appears smoother, plump looking, and revitalized. Replenishing micro drops of oil are released at the very last minute, leaving the complexion looking radiant and feeling incredibly silky soft to the touch. I mean, I guess it does look more hydrated than it did before I put it on, but it doesn't feel really smooth. It kind of feels like greasy a little. I don't know, that was that. I need a drink. I also need to put lip balm on because my lips are burning right now. And I have the lip balm sample right here. It's the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. I'm going to put this on with my lip brush. I have used this sample before. It's a very waxy lip balm, which I don't mind. So for primer, I have this sample. It's the Tatcha The Silk Canvas. This is the full size product. If you haven't seen this before, it's like a solid primer and the full size comes with a spatula and you're supposed to take like a tiny amount and smooth it. Um, and this says it's for all skin types. And it says, invisible layers of silk instantly filter away imperfections and impurities. Okay, so yeah, it's a smoothing primer. Press upwards into skin with your fingertips to prime for flawless, long-lasting makeup. Blur the look of fine lines and pores, brighten an even skin tone, and keep makeup and pollution out of skin. This is the actual sample. I think that's like more than enough. It doesn't say how much to use on here, but I was watching a YouTube video. I forget who it was, but they said like you're supposed to use a rice grain amount. And that's actually what it says on my other Tatcha product, the, the under eye brightener. So that's possible. Oh, okay. It's a lot softer than I thought it was going to be. It feels like a lip balm. So I guess I don't need to put this everywhere. I don't know. I'm gonna take this much and press upwards. Why would you press upwards? Well, where I need this the most is probably on my nose. Oh. It has like a lemony scent, I think. Or it's just mixing with the Guerlain oil. So I'm just gonna put this like where I have texture that needs to be smoothed. So this doesn't feel as like, you know the other primers that are smoothing, they feel like silicone on the face. This is more like a balm and it feels like it's absorbing right into my skin. I think that's enough. I mean my whole face feels smooth and I still have like tons left so I'm gonna keep that to do some further testing. Yeah it feels really soft. Does it look like it blurred anything? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. For concealer, I have the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have these four shades. Normally I would go with the lightest one, but because I sort of have a tan, I don't know. I, let's see which one looks better. So the lightest one I have here is called Vanilla Light 2. It looks like this. I've always wanted to try this concealer because everyone raves about it. 
It actually looks darker on the back. I guess you can't really tell on camera. But I think I'm just going to apply it with my finger. And if it's too light, I'll use the other one. Should I zoom you in? So I'm just going to put it on the spots that I need to conceal. Mm, it's a bit light. By the way, I have I don't know where this came from. I don't even remember having a pimple there and now I have big red scab. <laughs> this would probably be a good shade for me when I'm not tan. But right now it's a bit light if you can see like right here where I applied it. I guess I'll use this for my under eye concealer also. Oh yeah, that looks too light. Well, I'm going to put foundation over it anyway. So for foundation, I have two samples here. I have the Lancome Teint Idale Ultra Wear. This one. And I have the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Both of these are like supposedly super amazing. Um, but I think for tonight, it is like, what time is it? 8.30. Um, I'm going to use the foundation stick because this is supposedly a very high coverage foundation and I don't really feel like doing full glam look. So yeah, I'll save that for another day. Let's see what my shade is here. Okay, the middle one looks very orange in person. Let's see. Oh no. No, no, no. That's not my shade. So I guess it's going to be the lightest one, which is Shell. That one was nude. I hope it's not too light. Oh no, that should be good. So first off, this is very creamy for a foundation stick sample. I don't know if the actual product is that soft. I've always wanted to try it, but it's very expensive. So I haven't bit the bullet yet. I think I want to apply this with a brush because that's what you're supposed to do with this foundation. It actually, it has its own brush that comes with, well, it doesn't come with it. You have to buy it separate but it's meant to be used with this. So I'm going to get my Real Techniques buffing brush. This one here, this is the ultimate buffing brush from a holiday set that I hauled. And I guess I'll just press right into the sample. Start with that much. See what happens. This is looking pretty good for a stick foundation. I mean, I was kind of scared that it would look all, you know, it would all cling to my dry patches, but it actually looks kind of dewy, if you can see. I think I need some more on my nose. I don't know if it's the lighting that's making me look super pale. Ooh, it doesn't look the best on my nose. But that could also be because I'm peeling. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's like clinging to all my dry spots. 
but the rest looks it looks good here and my forehead looks pretty good considering it's peeling everywhere i want to see how much this is on sephora because i think it's like 56 dollars for one stick um yeah it's 56 dollars for 0.25 ounces if you can see that oh yeah that's pretty expensive but it is hourglass so it's like a luxury brand but they do have really nice products and this kind of does look like the brush that it comes with, so it's probably good that I used this to get the full effect. And that was the shade Shell. So Shell is supposedly a night, a night, a light neutral undertone. I guess I'll see how it wears. I think like stick foundations are known to like break up faster than liquid foundation so I mean I'm not gonna wear this for too much longer because it is already 8 30 <laughs> but yeah I'll see what happens and for concealer I'll go well for under eye concealer I'll go back in with the NARS soft matte complexion is that what it's called S soft matte complete concealer and I will use my finger first. Because this concealer in the full size actually comes in a pot. So I think it's meant to be used with the finger. I'm using a really small amount. I think that's a good shade for under the eye. It's brightening and this doesn't feel like thick at all. It's really lightweight and it doesn't look dry under my eye. I'll just put a bit more right in the corner here where I have the most darkness. Okay, it's looking good so far. So I actually have a bronzer sample. It's another hourglass product. It's the Ambient Lighting Powder, and I have two shades. Well, it's not, it's not really a bronzer. I think it's like a finishing powder, but I have it in Dim Light and Radiant Light. So I'm going to use these to bronze up a bit. Yeah, mostly with Radiant Light. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Duo Fiber Brush that I always use and just kind of swirl it over this, I guess. I mean, is it even coming off? Yeah. going to die so I'll be back okay so while my battery was charging I did my brows they look kind of funny but whatever because <laughs> um, I don't have any sample brow products so I use my hourglass fiber brow gel and now for eyeshadow I know this isn't new to most people but this is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom Amazonian clay palette. I hauled this a while back. Um, I got this 50% off, I believe. Well, that's why I bought it because it was on sale and I always wanted to try it. So it looks like this if you haven't seen. And there's the shades. So it's a really neutral everyday palette which I like mm, it smells like cocoa so I'm going to use this obviously for my eye look today 
to set my eye, I did put a bit of the, well, I put some foundation and concealer, so I'm not going to use primer. I'm going to set it with this shade here that is called Charmer. Oh, it smells so good. So I've used Tarte shadows before. I have the Pro, the Tardis Pro palette. Not the new one, but the first one. And I have some of their round palettes. But I never tried this one, and this is like their most popular one, I believe. It used to be like really popular on YouTube. Okay. And for the crease, I'm gonna go in with this shade here, Smarty Pants. It's like a mid-tone brown, what I always use in the crease. Well, it's quite pigmented. So Tarte Shadows are pretty dusty, if you can see the kick up there. Um, but not as much as like ABH shadows and they do blend pretty easily. Overall, I think Tarte is like a really good beginner brand. Like if you're just delving into makeup and you don't know what to try. Oh my god, the lighting is so bad, isn't it? I'm just kind of putting that, like, everywhere. <laughs> it's like a peanut butter type shade. And then to deepen up the crease, I'm gonna go in with... Is this a brown or purple? Whoa, that's too dark. I just watched that um, darkest brown shade. I thought it might be like a plum, but honestly, I don't, I can't, no, it's more like a brown. But yeah, that is very dark, so I don't want to go that dark today. I'm going to go in with, yeah, the shade Jet Setter. It's just like a bit cooler toned than Smarty Pants. And I'm just putting that directly in the crease just to give some more depth. And then for the lid, I'm going to try this brush. It looks weird. It's like pointy, but it's flat and dense, so I think it'd be good as a packing brush. I want to use this shade rocker this one here is that it i can't see what i'm pointing at no this one it's like a taupe shimmery shade i'm gonna put that mostly like from the corner to like two thirds in mm, this might have not been the best brush to use not really showing up. I'm going to try with my finger. Yeah, that's a bit better. These shimmer shades are not like super creamy like the um, Juvia's Place ones or ABH. They're drier but still looks pretty good. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going for. And I just want to deepen the outer corner. I'm going to use this little brush here. I don't want it to be too dark, but the thing with this palette is like, it's super light and then it's like black. So, yeah, it's harder to get like a gradient. So I'm just going to like dab like very lightly into the shade activist it's like a black and brown shade i think i hope
yeah i think that's like all i wanted to do but i will blend that out a bit better with a clean brush i kind of went on more like a charcoal gray and i wanted it more to be like a dark brown and for my lower lash line um, where's my brush? I'm gonna go back in with Smarty Pants, that like peanut buttery shade. By the way, this NARS concealer is so nice. It doesn't look crepey at all, and it's not like creasing in my fine lines. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I just want to go in with some of Jet Setter again. Kind of like from the middle to the outer corner. And a touch of Activist. I'm going to drop my brush on the very outer corner here just to connect it with the top. was more than a touch and with the clean brush I just want to blend that out a bit and for my inner corner I'm gonna go in with the shade funny girl this like champagne shimmer shade oh that's pretty and just a touch on the brow bone with anything left on the brush I think that's it just like a natural look Yeah, I mainly just wanted to test the shades in this palette because I never tried it before. It looks like they blended all really well together. So I'm happy with this purchase and it smells so good. Like the whole time it was smelling delicious. <laughs> um, mascara. I actually do have some mascara samples. I have the Tardist um, lash paint that is getting pretty old, so now is a good time to test it out. I hope that it's not dried up. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> it's an interesting packaging. It's a huge wand. I normally don't like these plastic ones, so we'll see how this goes. So there's um, one eye with the mascara and without. It looks pretty good. It is a bit dried up, but I really like lengthening mascaras like this as opposed to like super volumizing ones because usually those ones just get kind of clumpy on me. This brush isn't that bad actually. So there's the mascara, pretty good. Um, yeah, and all that's left is lips and setting spray. So for, I guess I'll do my setting spray first. I have this mini Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist that I have been saving up. Can you focus? It says, shake gently, close eyes, and mist onto face. Ooh, the packaging is super nice it's a glass bottle I have never have I tried this maybe once but I don't remember ooh that is very refreshing and for lips before my battery dies again I hauled this Too Faced um, what was this called? High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss from the new Pretty Rich collection. This is the shade Raisin the Roof. Look how pretty. I've never tried this, so I'm super excited. I'm just going to put it on over my lip balm. 
Ooh. Ooh. It's very smooth. <laughs> I was concerned that it'd be like, like you'd feel all the glitters in it, but you really don't. And I really like the applicator. It's like a flat doe foot. Ooh, I really like this. I like that it actually has a color, like it's not just a clear gloss, it feels really nice. So yeah, I think that's it. I really like this eyeshadow actually, I saw it in my mirror, I saw like a better look of it and I really like the shades and they look super smooth and they blend it out nicely i'm very happy with that um the foundation it looks good everywhere except on my nose if you can see that it's like all patchy but that is probably because like i said a million times my skin is peeling because i had a sunburn when i was away um so Unfortunately, I can't try that sample ever again because it's one of these, like, things that doesn't close back up. So, yeah, maybe, I don't know if they give me a sample in store because it's a stick. But, yeah, I'd like to try it again when my skin is, like, more smooth and hydrated because I really like the rest of it. Like, even on my forehead, which is usually super dry and flaky, it looks pretty good so yeah everything else i i liked everything i think oh i love the nars concealer definitely that will be my next concealer purchase yeah so if anything else gets weird i'll let you know uh, in the description box below but my battery's gonna die so I have to go but I hope you like this video and give it a like if you liked it and I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye